All right, so we got a couple sputters going on here. And let me see. Try and figure this guy out. Nothing's worse than an old guy with new technology. All right, so. Okay, let's go back. I think that's what that does. Oh, let me get back to the main. There we go. There we go. Yeah, all right. So anyway, yeah, I can hear it. Uh, got some kind of sputtering. The starter did stick, it went and caught under the plastic there, but that's no big deal. Just gotta be aware of it. And uh, I don't have the choke on. So yeah, I think more than anything, it's just a uh, tuning issue. And I'm not gonna put the pumper on my bike. I'm going to uh, leave mine stock, but I will pull the pumper and set it in the box for maybe later. Um, so anyway, yeah, this will be the first ride on this guy, so. the starter's not sticking so yeah i see what the guy means it needs some uh, work but if i go back to the stock exhaust on this and the stock carburetor it'll probably fix everything Woo! <laughs> oh yeah she runs there we go wow 1100 bucks boys and girls 1100 bucks Wow very nice I'll go up here and turn around I'll go in my usual spot we'll do a walk around maybe they'll keep running it's got full knobbies on it so uh, you can feel those hit the turn signals yep they're working all right and they're itty bitty turn signals. I'm gonna keep mine on just cause they are, uh, yeah, hear that little uh, hiccup? So it's, so it's got something. Man, I have to find neutral without a gauge. All right. So let's just do a walk around. This is the new scoot. Um, like I said, a lot of these parts are going on the uh, on my bike. This is a 2007 Honda XR650 L. It's full of mods. Uh, you know, the FMEV power core for, I got the quiet insert coming. It's got the, the bomb right there, um, the power bomb. It's got the lowering link, which I like, and I was thinking about doing that to mine. It's got the uh, uh, fork clamps from RWC or something like that and then uh, it's got the uh, CRF 450 front forks it's got the different housing the small lights uh, the 41 pumper Makuni new chain new sprockets see there's that <laughs> so uh, you know I'll be quiet but the motor sounds nice it shifted fine Brand new side panel. And I got the old ones and they're not in bad shape either. Here's the stock choke cable. So if I put the stock exhaust off my bike on here, swap the exhaust and I put the stock carburetor the guy gave me, I'll go through it before I put it on. I should be good to go. And it looks like it's melting. It's melting! Oh, this exhaust gets hot enough to the airbox, or close enough to where it is melting. Or it has come up against it at one point. So, see, see the smoke right there. So, eh, that's probably not good. It's got an extra air opening now. But yeah, what a nice scoot. Um, it was on Craigslist. 1200 a best offer. I brought it home for uh, 1100 cash. Oh, it's got the Troil Tech Voyager. It's got the badass forks, brand new pro tapers, brand new clamps. And he gave me the bars that were on the bike when he bought it. So, you know, I think what's, I don't, I think this will be a good bike. Put it back to stock and 
throw it on Craigslist, I'll definitely get what I paid for it. If not 1500 or something. So, And then my bike will just be a lot more fun to use with the upside downs and stuff. So... Definitely not as loud as the uh, DGO series muffler that was on my um, XR650 when I bought it. And then I traded Friday's the bomb, and then uh, he traded me for a stock. But with the Quiet Core insert, um, it should be just right. I'm not going to run the stock anymore, so I'm going to go a little bit better. Home sweet home. Yeah, baby. All right. Jeez. I can't believe this thing runs so well. Like I said, the ad in the paper, or the ad on Craigslist, said motor needs work. And with all the accessories this had, I thought for sure the rod was out. Or... Um, it had been seized up or ran with no oil and when the guy said no I ride it around it just kind of coughs in the middle I, I go dude you could have got like a million dollars for this thing so anyway that's it we're signing off we'll talk to you later